Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use two AI tools to create superb images for articles, newsletters, and even as you can probably see, or as you may have seen, YouTube thumbnails. So let's just dive in straight away. The first tool is ChatGPT. In fact, no, we'll go somewhere else. Here is an article I published on Medium the other day. There is an image. Here's another article I've just uh, published about an hour ago. Image. And here is today's news. Oh, this was a newsletter I published during the week. And once again, you know, an image. And all these images are created by Ideogram. So let's start with ChatGPT. Okay. Can you give me a prompt for Ideogram for a YouTube thumbnail image for a video that's about using ChatGPT prompts to create images on Ideogram? Okay. It comes up with this long ass prompt. Okay. Here is the one I did earlier. Here is a prompt for a thumbnail to capture the essence of this article. So what I do is I write an article. I copy it. I post it into ChatGPT. It gives me a prompt. And it gives me titles. Okay. Um, here is a social media post that I, sorry, here's an article I posted. Okay. I asked ChatGPT to give me um, five social media posts and five image prompts. And it did all that. Now, if we go to Ideogram, it's ideogram.ai. Go here. Okay. This is where you type in your prompt. But if we have a look here, here is the prompts I got for this video. Okay, that's what I was originally going to call it. Chat GPD prompts for Ideogram art. I changed it. Here's the four it came up with earlier for my article. Here's for today's newsletter. Uh, this is one I used engage, trust, click, click, commit. Um, didn't use that one, didn't like it. <laughs> my wife gave it a uh, uploaded a picture of some of the clothes to chat GPT, asked it for a prompt, and it came up with these images showing how her clothes would look when put together. And this is a series of images. I used this one in an article. Um, yeah, and you can see here, this is the prompt it gave me. Okay, and here's a clever bit. This is what Ideogram does. It takes it and it expands on the prompt. So what you can do is actually take these, if in fact, if you go here, you will see loads of prompts that people are already doing. Okay. Um, if you find a style you like, you can click on it. You can find the magic prompt. You can take it, copy it, and then change it to represent what you want. And you set the different sizes you want. Uh, if we go, if we go back here. There are different, you could do realistic. You can do design. You can do 3D images. You can do anime, whatever. You can set the size. So I actually set the size of mine to uh, wide. And yeah, it's a really good tool, okay? So I've used up all my 10, my free 10 uh, credits. So that's five images I can do. So it's uh, 20 images I get a day. Uh, please wait for your daily limit in 13 hours or upgrade my plan. It's actually quite cheap. So I'll, I will probably update, up, upgrade it. But I've been just been playing with this. Uh, for a few weeks, and I absolutely love it. As you can see, uh, there's lots of stuff that I've created here. I haven't run out. This is the first time I've run out of credits, but I've been doing a lot of testing today. Um, that's the one I showed. That's the one I used, but those were the alternatives that it gave me. It's really good with text. You can give it text, and it actually renders text unlike uh, Mid Journey. 
which screws it up. Different styles. Um, so whatever you can imagine it can do. My wife's been busy again. Um, yeah. So that is how you take a simple chat GPT prompt, use ideogram to create images and thumbnails, etc. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.